Okay, yeah, the video's in uh, this format. You'll be okay. All right, so, so the owners are also responsible for kicking the repairs down the road. They're not uh, totally without, you know, they're not, they're not blind innocent. They, they have an association there. They did have an engineer report in 2018 that said these repairs were needed. Um, it took three years to finally uh, agree to the repairs. And it took, it looks like it took just a, a minute too long, you know, days, weeks, too long um, to get to that. Well, I don't know when they were planned on working on the deck and taking the core samples. Whenever that was planned, that's how long they, they would have taken too long. We know the day of collapse. So if they planned on the core samples, maybe uh, a, uh, you know, three months from now to core sample the deck. If they did plan on core sampling the deck, then that would have been uh, three months too long. So they, they, they agreed to pay the assessment, I guess, or they got a bond to, to break it down over the many years that they're going to be there. They increase their, uh, their, uh, their monthly or quarterly, whatever they do, their uh, assessment, their condo association fees to take care of these repairs. But as they, they kicked it down the road. They knew about it in 2018, at least in 2018. They knew about it possibly when they decided to cover, literally when they, somebody decided to cover the deck over. Maybe the deck was beautiful then before they covered it over. Maybe, 2018. That's only a few years ago though. I mean, I'm sorry, when they covered the deck over, that might have been, I don't know, 10, 20 years ago. But there was a reason why they covered it over and that's very important to figure out why did they cover the damn deck? Did they, this doesn't seem like a, and these people are long-term long -term people that live there, they don't seem like the people that, that want to do aesthetics. They would spend extra money for, let's, let's, let's have stamped concrete out there and let's have some pavers around the deck. It doesn't seem like they would want to, that they're the type of people to do that because they didn't take care of the repairs. They didn't argue, look, we need to go ahead and take care of these repairs as we see them. So I don't imagine them saying, hey, let's spend some extra money and let's just upgrade the deck's look. I don't imagine that. Now, it could be 100% wrong, and they, the people that owned it then, the majority, might have said, let's do that. You need to find, again, the, uh, the records to that. Why did they come to that decision of adding that overlay? And that's what, I, you know, the heavy lifting for you guys or that reporter. That's going to be very tantamount to the deck failure. I think I used that word correctly in that in that. In that in that this in that process ah <sighs> so what do we what do we do here so we have the engineer that should have reduced the load rating once he I think once he knew that the uh, deck was that critical he makes it sound that critical we read it as that critical and yet he did no no it appears that he didn't demand samples and supports um, or anything else it, it's just the, uh, it's going to get worse. It's going to accelerate. It's going to, you know. At the, so, so here's his out. His out. At the time I inspected it, it looked sound, but that's not quite what he said, is it? He didn't. He didn't quite say at the time of inspection, it's sound. I didn't see that in there. He said pretty much. You know, his company pretty much said, you know, hey this needs to be addressed pretty damn quickly or it's going to get just worse and worse um worse and more worse <laughs> i don't know if that's i can say that but i thought i'd have a little fun with that all right so yeah all right this guy's this is an interesting topic i never got around to this is the philadelphia no longer the uh philadelphia um um, um refinery it's been sold but that's an amazing um, exercise in making money. That refinery, the guy sold the credits. It was amazing. You got to look it up. How he bought the credits. He bought the property when nobody else wanted it. Then he sold the, the credits for the uh, the the the, top, the, ga the, uh, the carbon carbon credits. And he quite didn't own them, but he oh he had possession of them somehow, as I understand it. And then uh, sold them, made all the money back that he purchased it for then he started the refinery and then the refinery of course failed of the fire explosion whatever the hell it was and now they sold it for development 
it's going to be development so it's like a win-win all the way around for the person that uh, purchased that and I don't know if it was something cheap like you know half a billion dollars he purchased it for and then sold the credits for half a billion something like that it was, it was crazy the the math on it and it's about these carbon tax credits they're they're amazing let's roll that into this uh, conversation shout out to my attorney Nick um, for sending me over uh, do you know it's global warming that uh, that they say global warming has caused this uh, collapse that the uh, administration the current presidential administration says global warming is part of the uh, collapse here so I didn't uh, you know I, I wasn't going to consider that but uh, if I can have a little fun here global warming caused the building collapse it's nobody's it the engineer report and all that is all just bullshit waste of time it's all wrong and it's global warming that caused it not nothing else I'm just having a little fun with that don't, don't kill me bye Philadelphia Airport